Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly review of my daughter's 529 plan. This plan will get converted to an ABLE account starting in the year 2024. ABLE stands for Achieving a Better Life Experience and it's an investment slash checking account for individuals with disability. So given my daughter has a disability, it makes more sense for her to have an ABLE account because it provides a wider use of the funds. Let's jump into the account. Balance on her current 529 plan is $25,015.82. Like on, I can't even like say these numbers because it's so ridiculous, the loss that's on this account. At one point, this account was over 26000 <laughs> Honestly, I just don't know what to do. I'm basically at 24000 Like, I mean, this, it's bad. It's bad. This week in the market has been bad, 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 bad. But I'm trying to breathe. Let's go through this. Again, balance is $25,015.82. Let's look at the deposits for the past week. There was two, one on September 18th in the amount of $50, and then I deposited on September 19th, $25. So for the week, I put in $75. And even with that deposit, still massive losses. It doesn't even matter. As we see here, upcoming for next week, I have $60 set to contribute, and I will put in more funds if I'm able to find any. Year-to-date contribution for 2023 is $9,365, so we have definitely gone several hundred dollars above what I contributed in 2022, which is awesome. I'm going to see if I can make it to $10,000 in contributions this year, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Life be life in. Anything can happen at any moment, so I never plan with any sense of guarantee I have goals, I work hard towards them, and whatever life does, life does. So this is where we are this week in terms of contributions. The performance for the portfolio, it's so bad. So I have put in $22,896.22 of my own money. I do technically have a positive earn-in or profit on the account in amount of $2,119.60, which brings the total balance up to $25,000. But this earnings amount used to be well over $3,000. So I have definitely lost a ton of money there. And in terms of what the portfolio is invested in, it's 100% in the growth stock index portfolio. But as I said, the market has been doing its roller coaster it's bungee jumping activity so it's just been a hot hot mess so this is this is where i am this is where i am no progress we've gone back several thousand dollars and yes i have like nothing positive to say about this week's portfolio other than it's a hot mess hopefully next week will be better highly doubt it but that's where we are. Okay, I'll catch you next week. Bye.